Welcome everyone to the watch list, your virtual weekly TV guide right here in the Latin Nerds Network. Ready to go over all the shows, films, documentaries released on streaming over the past week. Give you our best recommendations or non-recommendations as the case may be. And of course, at the end of the show, letting you know what's coming out. So you two can create your very own watch list. Uh, introducing, of course, co-host Hyman, aka Chewy, who's in a very pleasant mood after Colombia dominated Panama. I'm heading into the semifinals yeah, of the Copa America. Someone called someone call the cops, man. That's a crime scene. That was a crime scene. That's pretty bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty sad. Sorry for the Panamanian fans out there. Uh, so we're both in a good mood. Looking forward to Uruguay on Wednesday night on the way to the finale. Hell yeah. That being yeah. said, before we get to all that, that's on Wednesday. Let's talk about what happened now. If you're new to the channel, this is where we start. We have uh, using two parts. We're doing just one part today. Uh, we have a feature section. We take a deep dive, which I don't think anything was really worth taking a deep dive on. So we'll do a quick takes on a few things that got released this week. Very easy, short week. Um, again, so let's get started, Chewy. Let's start with the uh, documentary, The Man with a Thousand Kids. This is a three-part mm -hmm. uh, docu-series on Netflix about a man who was seemingly helping out those the several couples and think it was the netherlands i think um, um trying to conceive. um i guess they needed a yeah was some was it in europe or was it australia it was in I europe and australia it started okay. in, in, in i think believe in the netherlands okay both there. okay all right yeah. um, he got a, he got around, he got around right what so basically home. people you know helping out you know mm -hmm. donating his sperm so they can have kids and they started going to a sperm bank and all that save money etc etc and i guess they believe that he was helping out just a few people but it turned out he was helping a lot, <laughs> hundreds, even up to a thousand, or whatever the case is, and kind of they kind of t tell their story and you know the dangers of what he was doing, his motivations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Chewy on the watch list or not? Uh no, it's a pass for me. I, I tried. It was just even though it was thirty three episodes, it was just so dry. I was just not interested, and I wanted to be. I thought it was gonna be an interesting story, you know, and how this went about, but it was just very, very dry. You know, I, I need. I need a nice medium rare steak. I don't need something that's well done. Sorry. Agreed. Now I watched this. I saw one episode and just didn't care, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Interesting story on, uh, on paper, but I just, I don't know. If I, I just didn't grab me. It really didn't. So it's a pass on me. Next one, we have, um, let's go to a film here. Uh, Beverly Hills Cop Axel F, the long awaited uh, sequel to the course of Beverly Hills Cop series. Uh, the first two, which are really good. I mean, the first one was great back in the 80s and part three was- How about first part three? Part three oh, was yeah, awful. Okay, yeah, yeah, it was just yeah. total oh. dog shit. Let's just call yeah. it what it is. Yeah. Uh, listen, here's the return of, you know, of course, Eddie Murphy, you know, making his comeback tour, if you will, quote unquote, of course, coming off coming to America and making that remake, uh, well, continuation anyway. Um, this is nostalgia porn. And from that sense, it's kind of cool. Some of the same music, all the names from you know Serge and you know Judge Michael, uh, everyone coming back for this one. But honestly, it didn't work for me. And I'm and I might be the one. I think it's, yeah. you and I may differ on this one. But I just yeah, I, I, yeah we are. I, I, and I get it. I mean, the, the reviews have been a little more positive than negative. So if someone tells me I like it, I get it. I do. It just wasn't funny for me. The action was generic. It's felt very generic. I don't know. I just and I love it in reference. I love Beatles Cop. But this it didn't do it for me. Uh, Chewy, obviously, you, you feel differently, which I get. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like I said, for it, now, is this something I would see in the theater? Probably not. Let me preface this, right? Because it's on Netflix, it's free for, well, you pay for Netflix, so it's not trying to pay, pay an extra money to go see it. But, uh, you know, and I'm comparing it to other Netflix movies, which most of them are, you know, borderline dog shit for the most part. They put a lot of quality, not a whole lot of quantity. No, sorry. They put a whole lot of quantity, not a whole lot of quality. But I, I mean, I don't think this is for the open issue because I wasn't entertained, right? I mean, yes, there was a, there was a lot of nostalgia factor, but this is not, this is not, from a nostalgic standpoint, this is not uh, Saved by the Bell nostalgia. Well, that's what all it relied on. <laughs> um, and, and so, like I said, we have, you know, we have Kevin Bacon, you know, playing the villain, you know, he's always a good villain. Uh, or we enjoy his performance. We had uh, JGL, uh, so I completely forgot he was in this movie. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we had some interesting new characters, his, his daughter, his strange daughter, <clears throat> excuse me, and, and whatnot. Again, again, it followed the formula, right, that worked in, in the original and in number two. It, it, I mean, it, so it didn't deviate from the formula. And maybe that's a good thing. It didn't try to reinvent itself. It's not trying to deconstruct the 80s, 90s no. action, com action comedy uh, genre, I guess is what this is. 
Um, but, uh, and, and like I said, yeah, the active sequence is you know, very similar to what we saw before. Again, the, you know, the, and this is not Jerry Burke kind of production. <laughs> <laughs> what a top ridiculous action. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Let's just keep it let's keep it sane. Um yeah, because I mean I have seen you complain so many times about the well, I mean, camera is all it's all is a is all flash, no substance. This is not it's just not trying to be an, an action I mean it is, but it's more more right, Veritas comedy Veritas than an action, action film yes. action comedy. Yeah. Right? Um yeah. So it, can... it was known for its car chasing, right? right. right? And sure. So um, but I think yeah, it stuck to the formula and it, and it, and it worked well for it. Right. Um, and that's, and I don't think that's all it was trying to do. It wasn't trying to be, you know, the best of, 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 of the brain host cop series. It was just keep it in the vein with what worked versus number three, which was, did not work. Yeah, listen, this is way <laughs> above, it's clearly head and shoulders above the third term, which is the doctor. This is, I don't know. It's just, I can, this is here. This isn't in the theaters. We would have come out disappointed. Right. And although this is a Netflix film, I get it. Your, your standards should respect that accordingly. You need to adjust your standards. Right. Right? We're now, talking about how you spend how you spend your your, your theater money has changed since pandemic. Where I think people are a lot more selective. Oh, We've seen that with and the box office numbers. I would have said yeah. I wouldn't recommend it. Right? Maybe watch it at home. Yeah. That would be my take yeah. on it. But mm -hmm. with Barry's cop with that title with that legacy, I expect a little bit more. Right, that's all I'm saying. Right? If this was just okay. an Eddie Murphy movie called whatever, they could have called anything else. Okay, fine. But this is barely as cop, right? Um, mm. being, like I, I still, I find it funny. Well, listen, I, I get it. It's like people like it. The I, I, I there, get it. If you right? like it. it, it this yeah. isn't, uh, you know, this isn't trying to try to solve the mystery. Yeah. You know, you know exactly who's going on. You're like, okay, it's simple. Like it's okay. It just wasn't, I guess, yeah. the jack of all trades, master and none. The action was, was eh, and the comedy was, eh, mm. it just didn't, if one of those would have been great, I would have been fine with it. Like I said, I get it. Yeah, I do. It's not a horrible movie. It's, it's whatever. It's Netflix. <laughs> it is what it is, right? So take it for what it's worth. Uh, but if you're a fan of the series, I I guess I'll lean towards saying yes. If you knew the series, I say no. And that's the, that's the best way I can put it. Uh, last one here is another documentary, uh, docuseries, Sprint. Um, the World's Fastest Humans this is, of course, on the road to the Olympics coming up soon here in July with this month and Paddy. Uh, this one mm -hmm. focusing on the sprinters, not, not just USA, but sprinters around the world. Of course, the big powerhouses, USA and Jamaica, of course, um, in terms of the 100 meter, 200 meters, 100 meter, of course, the, the marquee event of the Olympics, right? Uh, as far as for me, it is you know, being the world's fastest human. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, so kind of uh, almost like the F1 did for phone on racing. But then this one kind of does mm, yes. racing Correct. style, focus on the Correct. individuals, their training, what are the pressures and some of the racings and next behind the scenes and stuff, relationships behind there. Um, this I really enjoyed, dude. This is a, this is a really good yeah. must-watch. I really like this one, mm -hmm. um, maybe because I like track and field, particularly these two events. But the Olympics coming, you get, you get caught up on. It's a good play to Olympics. Get to know some of these runners and sprinters and these marquee matches you're gonna see in a couple weeks. Really enjoyed it, man. Mm -hmm. It's really cool, very entertaining. Some colorful characters, <laughs> particularly on the USA side, uh, with Noah not Lyos, his name, and uh, I forgot Sh Sh Shakira, Shanika, Shakira yeah, Richardson, Richardson, who's a, a character, uh, nonetheless. But uh, yeah, if you like competition. Very interesting. This is very well engaging, real fast pace. Uh, it's a it's a high watch for me, actually. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Six episodes, and it's a very interesting, very interesting watch. Where right? I kind of peel back the onion and go behind the scenes of, of some of the great, you know world's greatest sprinters, really. And on in all honesty, right? Yeah, of course. The fastest people yeah, around. These are um, giving the crap. You know, I, the 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 um. And the only the only drawback is obviously it's, it's a very short snapshot, right? We we, we see him through, uh, I think one of the final Diamond League events, and then the qualifications, and then the World yeah, Championship, yeah. right? So it's a it's a very small window, but it made, but they bring in enough enough people around and their coaches and other people and come you know out of both of them. He's been commentating track and field forever, man, and he's great. At it. He is great. I remember he Trinidad, he represented Trinidad Tobago back in the day. Um, and he's just a great commentator and, and adds that 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 the audio flair yeah. to him describing the, uh, these people, their accomplishments, and how they do it. It's really really great. Yeah, I guess it's very fun. And the season two is coming. They kind of tease at the end of uh, the episode. Oh, I didn't. Know yeah, that. Well, I, I was I was just trying to scroll okay, through it to get to the end, and it shows season two, like mm -hmm. they're, and they're preparing for the actual Olympics. Probably I would I would oh, assume okay. qualifying, you know that. So yeah, I, I'm not sure when it's dropping. Um, I would assume they may wait till they're probably gonna have Olympic stuff in it. I don't know. 
um yeah, like show some yeah. footage yeah so that's coming so that's good i, I enjoyed it really cool so I, I think this was the 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 watch of the week if you were in a, in a very limited week but um Maybe you know but i said this and others a short week and come off the holiday hope everybody had, everybody had a good fourth and a couple of shows real quick to mention you know being as light and maybe not into the docuseries and whatever there's things like we talked you and i talked about dark matter on apple plus which is a really good show sci-fi show on apple plus yeah, very 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 heady very yeah. smart very i mean we got very, yeah. Hope, hopefully it's the season two hopefully but season two. Let, let's see. i'm all for it you know we have uh presume innocence is actually not bad it's actually getting better for me on apple uh with jake jenna um i think it's great but it's good kind of standard prestige trial thing but it's, a, yeah, it's, I mean, so it's, it's david kelly type yeah. i mean he did you know if you don't know he, back he was big in, in the 80s i'm sorry 90s and 2000s with uh, la law yeah. with the practice um he did oh, a couple right. other ones as, as well yeah, so so like he has history with these these legal yeah, okay. TV yeah, dramas. Call, call so he knows dramas, how to. Yeah. How to mm -hmm. Yes, he knows how to do good TV. But I, this is based on a book, and I get a previous movie with with uh, Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, okay, not great, but yeah, it's, it's a solid show. Just things to pick up. Uh, obviously, King's Mayor Kingstown, the Paramount Plus. If you have that, Game of Thrones, The Boys. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we know that. Yeah, um, Lazarus. Don't forget Lazarus. Lazarus part of that is a great, great show, dude. I mean, it's, I've had my issues with season. it, but it's good. Um, but but, but, but it's a recommend. I'm not saying don't watch it. It's a cool show on on okay. AMC. Okay. No doubt. Um, Interview the Vampire. I, I guess. No, that's TNT, by the way. Oh, TNT. I'm sorry. Interview the Vampire. AMC. That's what I meant to say. That. That's funny. That, that, that one probably talk about. That one wrapped up. Yeah. Um, that was pretty good too. I like and that. yeah, that was a very, uh, for me. I was I I didn't read the book. But that was very, very, uh, very nice twisty. And well, we finally could see what happened to to his child, right? Because mm -hmm. obviously, there's never gone through in detail. Very, <laughs> that's brutal. Um, but then the twist at the end, uh, which which I found, you know, oh wow, okay, yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah, part. it was interesting. So, yeah, now, if you read the book, maybe you did, but I, I did not. So I was like, ah, oh, yeah, that was a really good show. And if, you, if you're into that, and uh, the season three coming for that, so a lot of things out yes. there for you guys to watch. Um, and I mentioned it because this is a light week, and it's a light week for next week, which will go over real quick. So as far as next week, we get on the 10th, we got Sunny. It's kind of sci-fi show, Rashida Jones, who, you know, plays a woman who's married to, uh, is in Japan, with her husband Japanese, and unbelongs to her, he dies, and he actually works for an AI development company, has a robot or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We got Vikings Valhalla, the last season three, uh, show you and I yeah. very much. Unfortunately, last season. Last season, yeah, because that's a really cool show. And then Apple Plus, we got another show called Me, but a boy who develops a uh, superpower, I guess he, he's like, he can shape shift or whatever. Uh, so he's trying to deal with that. Of course, trying to grow up and be a kid uh, on Apple Plus. It's just, again, not, not a big list here. Uh, two things on Apple. You don't see that very often. And only one thing on Netflix. You definitely don't see that very often. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so. Well, it's, one of the, it's, it's an odd month, right? Yeah, yeah it's an odd month. It's, it's a light month. Yeah, so a lot yeah. of these shows you mentioned, like Dark Matter. After coming out, after coming out of June. No, of course, uh, of course. I mean, yeah. yeah, like I said, there's a lot of stuff out there for you guys to, to definitely check out. Um, if you want, you can even go to Disney Plus. If you just want to like see something really bad, watch The Acolyte, and you can watch shitty, oh, shitty crap. Stop. Um, <laughs> garbage. Just, no, stop on that. Hey, uh, terrible show, dude. It's Saturday morning <laughs> cereal. That's all you're gonna get. I thought you're gonna get a cereal. I thought you're gonna get a cereal. I thought you're gonna get a Star Wars. Sorry, Crunch is embarrassed of uh, you eating in front of that show. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, 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 tonight, you know, you can claim your product because tonight is going to be, yeah, it, you know, the House of Dragon, an awesome whatever. episode of House of Dragon. It's, it's going down today, dude. We're getting lots of stuff. I hope so. I hope so. No, but it's good. It's, it's been yeah. great, no doubt about it. So, like, again, last stuff to watch despite the new releases being a little bit light. Yeah. That being said, that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you guys next Sunday. Peace.